Hey guys, welcome to my first vlog. Um, I'm about to go away to Europe for about six months, which no other white girl in Australia has ever attempted. So I'm feeling pretty unique and I thought I might vlog the experience for a bit of light entertainment. Um, so my flight leaves at 3.15 today and I'm pretty much packed and my first stop is London. And I'll be doing about five weeks travel, then heading over to Sweden for a semester of exchange because I want to hang out with ABBA. So I've pretty much packed now. Um, these are my two trendy purple suitcases from Antler. So we have the little bubby one, which is going to come around Europe with me because it's going to be summer. And then this is the massive one that's going to go straight to Sweden. And this is my carry-on luggage. Say hi. Don't forget, guys, no European trip is complete without your custom leather engraved luggage tag. It's an essential. Just saying a quick goodbye to the outback that is East St Kilda. Latest guys, I'll miss you. Stay cool. It's important to have a healthy, balanced diet. Bye, bubs. Have fun while I'm away. Behave yourself. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Okay, bubsy? Guys, don't forget to take your cliche departure terminal Instagram. So I just arrived before at my family friend's house in London. Um, it wasn't too bad. I just caught the train from Heathrow and then got an Uber. And I've just had a shower, freshened up. And I think because the weather's really nice today, it's about 28 and sunny. It's actually really warm. Um, we're going to go to Westminster and just check out Big Ben and some of the other nice buildings around there. And also go get some lunch and also just have a walk around South Bank. Never seen such talent. Hey guys, sorry about my pathetic excuse of vlogging London yesterday. I was just with family friends and I just didn't want them to think I was a loony um, narrating everything. But yeah, we had a really nice day. We caught the train out to Westminster and checked out Big Ben and um, a classic London phone box, the red ones, and we had a really nice walk down South Bank, which I think is. Um, Australia's really copied London South Bank. There are a lot of similarities. Had a really nice Mexican lunch and walked past the Globe Theatre and the Tate and stuff like that. So yeah, it was really nice. And now I'm at um, Stansted Airport and I'm about to go through passport control. Now is the right time for me to become an alcoholic. Well, it's great to know that fidget spinners transcend cultural barriers. All right, I'm just getting some headphones, some water and maybe a bite to eat so I've just arrived at the Airbnb in Nice. I'll give you a quick tour with a couple of other people but this is the kitchen and this is the view from the kitchen so just coming through it's like sort of several floors up and like this beautiful old building and then this is where Sabrina and I are going to stay it's pretty gorge got another nice stuff new view out here I'm gonna get some food now because I'm starving. I could pretty much eat my own hand, Hannibal Lecter style, because I'm that hungry. The traffic is really intense here, so the bus took a long time, but I'm here, I'm alive. Sabrina's gonna come, she'll probably be like an hour or so. Her flight arrives a bit later than me. Alrighty, lads, bye. Okay, can we just take a moment to appreciate this French toilet? Is it a bidet? I don't know, I feel so uncultured, but I didn't realize that they had toilets like this with no toilet paper, and instead, you just pick yourself a nice old 
spray. So I've just headed out for a walk and I've spied this place which looks quite nice. So I'm going to see if I can grab a quick bite to eat. Ready thing with like chicken and veggies inside of it and chocolate clear as well. And I'm just heading back to the apartment now. I'm gonna have a shower and freshen up. And get this, they have machines at the cafe where you just insert your your euros, your notes, and it just dishes out the change for you. And so it doesn't actually change hands with the cashier, it just the machine does it all for you, which I thought was very cool. Just really quickly, I thought I would touch on some of the things I've found really helpful for my travel. Um, the first one is this little bad boy here. It's a little pack safe pouch um, and you can adjust the straps and it has slash proof straps and that like card blocking thing. And it's just got a little zip here and it's just got enough to have to fit like my passport, like notes, my phone as well. And it's like really secure and I just have it around me at all times. And so that really helps as well, just knowing that um, that's very hard to steal. So all my most important belongings are in there. And then I just take one of these like little cheap tote bags with like water bottle and food and everything else. So at least if that gets stolen, it's okay. Um, also the suitcases, um, these ones that I got for my birthday are actually really good. They're just really easy to like wheel around, which makes a massive difference if you're walking and they have a little security code as well. So you can lock stuff in your room while you're out and about and feel secure. Do you want to get food? <laughs> look at that, look at that bread. Say hi to all your fans. Sabrina's appalled that I'm vlogging, but <laughs> the show must go on, guys. So we're in a little marketplace now. It's really cute, we're gonna get some food. Grapes, I want grapes. Do you want grapes? Oh, to help. There's just heaps of different produce. I'm eyeing off that pizza there, but... A lot of choice. So we just got ourselves some fruits and food and we're just trekking up towards the castle. You excited? Me. Is this not the best cardio you've ever experienced? <laughs> like take a seat Cassie Ho and Kayla it seems. This is what peak performance looks like. I thought these grapes were seedless but they have seeds. And honestly, this is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals ever. The view already is gorgeous and I didn't think we're at the top of the castle. I'm the view. See, look at that view. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> so we've made it to the top of the castle and we'll go check out the panoramic view later. But this is just a little snippet and now we're going to have some pizza. This view, guys. This is from the top of Castle Hill. Pretty sweet. We're just walking through the old town now. You can't really see from this camera, but it's beautiful. It's all, all the buildings are so old. Lots of cute little cafes. This alleyway is slimmer than my waistline will ever be. Tram tracks in the grass? This is some next level shit. So we just suntan at the beach for a few hours. Right boys, what did we get here? <laughs> she has stage fright. I'll tell you, she got chocolate and mango. <laughs> I got strawberry and bueno. So we just had a shower, freshened up at the room, and now we're heading out to get some cocktails and some food. Do you have a problem? <laughs> Not a problem. Holy crap, beautiful. Look, there's another little beach there. 
So we've just caught the train to Monte Carlo. We're gonna go beach hopping. We're gonna do a beach crawl. It's like a pub crawl, but with beaches. So guess what? It turns out Monaco is a different country. We thought it was just a place in France and it's literally a different country. We're actually not that dumb. I promise we're actually somewhat intelligent. We just no, we are that dumb. Okay. So this is Monaco Old Town. It's very cute. This person, however, is not so cute. <laughs> Yes, Sabrina, I'll take a picture of you. Just give me one second. They see me rolling, they hate it. Perfect. <laughs> no, did I get it? But I think for motorcycle, I have to be completely full license. Yeah. Before I can have anybody on so when you're rich and have nothing better to do, why not have lunch in the sky with your other rich friends? I love just casually owning a yacht. A six story one at that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if, you know, if we all stopped eating smashed avocado, we would be able to afford one too. Okay, screw the yachts. There's a water slide here. <laughs> Get around it, boys. So we've just reached the Monte Carlo Casino, which is where billionaires such as myself like to gamble their money away. It is a very beautiful building, but I don't think you're allowed in if you're just a commoner. Yeah, there's a nice little market square. It's very hot. We are ready to swim, aren't we? So we've left Monaco and we caught the train one stop back in the direction of Nice. It's this place called Cup Dale, which just has lots of pretty secluded beaches. Um, but you have to go down a cliff to access them, which makes them even more alluring to tourists such as myself. And there are significantly less Ferraris here, so I feel more at home. which is one of the little more secluded beaches in Cup Dial and we had a really nice pizza as well and we swam out to this sort of really nice cave and it was just probably, well first it was the longest I've probably ever swam in my life even though it was like 500 meters and yeah it was just beautiful as you probably saw from the videos and now we're at another beach town that's on the way home from Nice um, yeah I'm probably just gonna try and get my tan on for about an hour um, about 7 p.m. It's still nice and bright over here. Bye. Would you like some sock with that band-aid? So it's 10 p.m. We still haven't eaten dinner because it's that Europe lifestyle. And yes, we do suck. Thank you, Sabrina, for pointing that out. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have a nice dinner now. It's still nice and warm. This is our last night in Nice, so we got to make a count. I'm thinking, you know, we go clubbing, take some drugs, that sort of thing. Eat a lot of food. That's really what she means. Yeah, <laughs> sarcasm, guys. I wish this cathedral was available on Airbnb because I would totally stay here. Look at it. I'm trying really hard to walk in front of Sabrina because this entire trip, in case you haven't noticed, <laughs> she's been way in front of me, just like impatiently waiting. Ooh, let me be in front. So I've already been approached by two French boys today who both said, you are beautiful. Do you have Snapchat? which I take to be the French equivalent of send nudes. <laughs> Sabrina, a Saturdays for the boys? <laughs> Model life. <laughs> All right, we're leaving Nice. Off to Montpellier, platform D, Are you excited? So we've just arrived in Montpellier, which is a cute little town. We're just staying here one night. It's a nice mid ground between Nice and Barcelona. So we've arrived at our Airbnb in Montpellier after a slight hiccup. Sabrina saved the day as per <laughs> usual. I just lost my shoe. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. So through here we have another balcony style setup. And just through here, it's a nice little town square. Thompson TV, great quality brand. Great choice, Dennis. <laughs> Bed one which I'll give to Sabrina because I feel bad for her for putting up with me. Yeah, the other one is... 
a sofa couch thing. <laughs> Why would I want to share a bed with you? I don't want Swedish freaking Aryan germs. <laughs> My first time trying to coin laundry. <laughs> So we're at one of the main squares now. There is an extremely random merry-go-round. Always remember to touch on and touch off your Mikey when boarding this train. Lots of greenery. For whatever reason, all these statues are headless. I guess that might have been the trend back in the day. Just made a quick stop at Hagen Dars and now we're just probably just having another stroll and head back to the apartment and cook some dinners because we're pretty knackered and this is more of a rest stop while we prepare for the hectic time that will be Barcelona. This town is very pretty. Um, sort of similar old buildings to Nice but it does have much more of a gritty edge to it and subway. Sabrina, will you one be one me in laser quest? This is a successful cooking video. Step one, <laughs> turn on the oven by jamming it really hard with your fingers. It's not an oven, it's a stove. <laughs> so we're having a night in tonight and we're going to cook some pasta. Got two different type of sauces. Got some chorizo as well. And we finally got the stove working. That's right guys, stove or oven. Easily confused, I know. Especially for idiots like me. So yeah. As you can tell, I've done heaps of the preparation and Sabrina's done jack shit, so. <laughs> Look at Ruby go! They call me Gordon Ramsay for a reason. No one calls you that. So I'm just heading out now to get a bite to eat, maybe a bagel or something. It's about 10.45am here, we just had a bit of a relaxed morning. Our bus to Barcelona is at 2.30, so we might just have an explore around the town. Aha! Bagel corner. This looks promising. So I got myself a mango and passion fruit smoothie and just a plain bagel. The guys thought I was a bit whack but sometimes I just feel like some plain bread. Happy days. Sabrina's over there doing cardio and I'm just eating my stuffed bagel. Lol at me thinking I'm natural but this is the amount of toiletries I have. Separate to makeup, guys. This is just toiletries. The square is much busier today than it was yesterday. Look, guys, it's a real live tram. Look, it's a little Foodora truck. It's so cute. We're going to visit a cathedral because why not? What a quaint little alleyway. It's got to be one of the top five alleyways so far. The French love their fountains. We are now approaching the Montpellier Cathedral. There are some great views of the town from up here. Super nice up here. Great weather, blue skies. Always leave time for a quick photo shoot. We have approached a magnificent rotunda. But this is no ordinary rotunda. It has a pool in front of it. Just at the door, guys. Happy as Larry, and also overheated. Yeah. What are we gonna get for lunch? Food. Wow, I never thought of that. That's <laughs> such a good idea. Oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunately, our bus to Barcelona is 45 minutes late, so we're just gonna hang here for a while. Angry reacts only. You know what's worse though? Sabrina's brownie, what's wrong with it? It's crumbly. <sighs> Absolute <laughs> abomination. <laughs> Let's leave the country. Thanks for watching my first vlog, guys. If you made it this far without cringing to death, I truly am proud of you. Um, I'll catch you in my second vlog, which will probably be Barcelona, Portugal, and I might chuck Greece in there as well. Alright, laters.